Hi guys, this is Dia and welcome to Mom and Me. Today I will share with you 11 useful tips and tricks for Indian kitchen, especially for meal planning and prepping. This will surely save you time and money in your kitchen, adding a lot of variety to your Indian cuisine. I already have three kitchen tips videos on my channel where you will find a lot of kitchen tips. I will link them in description box below in case you missed to watch any of those video. So let's get started with tip number one. The first tip is to make different types of chutneys or dips ahead of time. Having pre-made chutney will open up new options for meals that otherwise might not be on your list. When we think of chutneys, green chutney is the one that comes to our mind first, isn't it? Today I will show you two variations of green chutney that are completely different in taste and will add a lot of variety to your food. The first one is roasted gram and peanut green chutney. To make this chutney, take half cup of peanuts and roast them around 2 minutes in the microwave and once they are cool, take the skin off. Next, take a blending jar, add half cup of roasted gram and also add the peanuts and crush this to a coarse powder. Now, keep this aside. Now, take 2 bunches of fresh coriander with stems attached. To this, add 1 lemon juice, salt and sugar as per your taste and grind it to fine paste. Now, all you have to do is mix the gram and peanut powder to the chutney so that it has thick consistency and you can store away the leftover powder for later use. This chutney goes well with different types of sandwiches and parathas. Homemade cilantro chutney takes just 10 minutes of your time from preparing the ingredients to making the chutney. It will stay fresh for about a week in the fridge but I am sure it won't last you this long. We love making green chutney and vegetable sandwiches these days. You can choose to grill it or just eat it raw. Either way, it tastes delicious. Our go-to sandwich is cheese chutney sandwich. Green chutney on one slice, butter on another slice, add some chaat masala and crushed black pepper and some grated cheese sandwich in between. So mouth-watering, even kids love it. When I Another variation is mint green chutney. It is very versatile and makes a perfect accompaniment for Indian snacks like bhel, dahi puri, pani puri, burgers, etc. Having green chutney stocked up in the fridge is such a convenience. It makes even a simple Indian meal more flavorful. To make green chutney, I have taken one bunch of mint leaves, three bunches of coriander, stems attached, few green chilies, black salt, chaat masala, lemon juice and water to blend. I like to make a big batch of green chutney and store it in the freezer tray so that you can have them in cubes to be used as and when you need. You can thaw the cubes various ways. In microwave, keep them in the room temperature for few hours, grind them or transfer them to the fridge section a night before. You can store this chutney in the fridge for about a week and in the freezer easily for few months. Another chutney you can make is date tamarind chutney. You can store this in the fridge for a week or if you choose to defreeze it like I did, it will last you around 6 months. And as I made a big batch, I do not have to make it frequently. To make date tamarind chutney, soak equal proportions of dates and tamarind in hot water for around 30 minutes. Then take out all the seeds from the tamarind. Next, blend them in a blending jar, adding water as required. It should be a smooth paste. We need to sieve this to take out all the fiber and separate the pulp. 
Next, heat this mixture in a deep pan. Also add jaggery. I have added powdered jaggery here just to make the process easier and quicker. I have added around 1 kg jaggery here. For spices, I have added red chilli powder, coriander powder, cumin powder and salt. Give this a boil and simmer for 5 minutes. The chutney will turn thick once it's cooled down so don't make it too thick while it's boiling. Now store this in a glass jar but making sure you leave at least 1 inch empty space at top of the jar as liquids expand when frozen. So leaving space on top will ensure that your jar does not break and you do not end up trashing your hard work. Day tamarind chutney won't completely solidify when you deep freeze it. It will still have a soft texture and you can scoop it out as and when you need. So if it's a weekend and you feel like eating samosas, dahi puri, pani puri, you have all the chutneys you need. Trust me, this is so convenient as you do not have to make them from scratch every time. My daughter loves pani puri and my son loves dahi puri and these preps make them so easy to prepare. It's nothing new, but it's so good to see you. We do this every day, and I'm still so amazed by you. Now let's look at another chutney which is garlic chutney. It goes well with dal bati, vada pao or with parathas. Having garlic chutney on the side always enhances the taste of simple food that we make on daily basis. So to make garlic chutney, I am peeling around 8 to 10 buds of garlic here. If you choose to make a small amount, you can actually make this on iron roti tawa as it helps caramelize garlic well. But I am making a big batch today so I will be using iron kadhai. You need to add half cup oil. Oil will help to preserve it and also will enhance the chutney's taste. So once oil is hot, add garlic cut into pieces and let it turn brown. It will take around 5 to 10 minutes. Once brown, turn flame off and add salt and red chilli powder. Make sure the flame is off otherwise the red chilli powder will burn and will turn black giving very odd taste. The oil at the bottom should still be nice and red and not brown. Now crush it in a blender on pulse mode and voila your garlic chutney is ready. It can easily stay fresh in the fridge for 7 to 10 days but I bet it won't last you more than few days. So how Next, let me show you homemade mint coriander masala. This is so versatile and can be used in variety of things. First, let me show you how to make it. I have washed and pat dry 8 to 10 stems of coriander and mint leaves. Now, I will transfer it to a paper towel and microwave it around 3 minutes, making sure turning it every minute. Also, do not leave microwave unattended as if leaves turn too dry, it will start burning. I learned it hard way, so keep an eye on it. Once leaves are dry, add it to a blending jar along with 1 tablespoon of black salt, 1 spoon roasted cumin seeds, crushed black pepper and some chaat masala. Now grind this well into a fine powder. This essentially is a chaas or buttermilk masala powder that you just made. So add this to buttermilk next time you make it or you can even add this to mint makhanas. And believe me, makhanas never tasted so better. Single day. Another kitchen hack that I simply love is making tandoori roti in the toaster. This hack will enable you to eat 
hot rotis even after a busy day at work when you just don't feel like making rotis or cooking. All you have to do is knead the dough as normal and make oval shaped rotis and roast them a little on both sides. Why roast them? So that they hold shape. Now you can freeze them wrapped into the butter paper or parchment paper. It's just to avoid rotis sticking from each other when in the fridge. Now whenever you want to eat, keep them on the countertop to thaw and later put them in the toaster and toast them. Rub some homemade butter and bang, yummy, hot, fresh tandoori rotis ready in no time. I have shared quick 5 minute recipe to make butter at home. So make sure to check out kitchen tips video number 3. What if the world had more of your smile? What if the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars. Mm. Now, let's jump to another tip, which is making ginger, garlic, green chilies, and coriander paste. You can adjust the spice level to suit your family. We do not eat very spicy, so I'm not adding too many green chilies here. I prefer to have them coarse rather than a fine paste. Also, once it's crushed, add oil and salt. It acts as a natural preservative. Once it is frozen, transfer it to a jar and you can store this easily for few months. But I doubt it will last that long as we Indians use 3G paste in our kitchen extensively, don't we? Once you prep these things, you will slowly realize that you are saving time on doing these little things as you have done them in advance. You will feel more at peace. That's what meal prepping is all about. Birds will sing about your heart. Maybe the trees will whisper the word. Maybe the sun will spread your joy to the ones who lost their hope. Now let me share a simple sambar dal masala recipe. This masala is very dear to my heart as I remember my mom making it when I was little. And I used to love that sambar dal. I feel nostalgic thinking about those days and how much I used to enjoy eating idli sambar. So let me share my childhood memory. I called up my mom and asked her the exact recipe and now sharing it with you all. It's all in the proportions. So let's see what proportions do we need. So 4 spoons of cumin seeds, 2 spoons of coriander seeds, 1 spoon fenugreek seeds, 1 spoon urad dal, around 8 to 10 red chilies. Now roast them on low flame till you smell nice aroma. That's a sign it's well roasted. Let this cool completely before transferring it to the blending jar. Now crush this to the fine mixture. Lastly, add hing or asafoetida before grinding. And your homemade sambar masala is ready. It might not be the authentic recipe, but for me, this is it. It tastes divine. Pickles play an important role in Indian cuisine and nothing better than homemade pickles, whether it's sirka vegetables or mango pickle. Let me show you two variations I like to make in my household. 
for mango pickle i use store bought pickle masala but i do not add too much of it as this is going to be instant pickle that we will consume within few days if you have to preserve it then you have to dry the raw mango you have to add salt and turmeric to preserve it for long time but as this is instant pickle i'm not going to do all of that and skip that process pickles are perfect appetizer for an otherwise simple meal dreaming of you 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 another instant pickle is the one that you can make using vinegar and spices not many spices just salt turmeric and red chili dip vegetables of your choice you can add carrots onion green chilies cucumbers or cauliflower put them in a sunny spot for one day and it's ready to be consumed which are other instant pickles you make at home please comment in the description box below i would love to know what different cultures are doing around the world I hope you guys enjoyed all the tips and tricks that I shared in this video today. If you did, you know the drill guys. Please like this video, share it with your friends, all the good stuff. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.